Halli ho there ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the show. Today I'm looking at this piece of art, the HP Envy 13 inch. It's HP's new Envy with the awesome Skylight processors. It's HP's thinnest laptop. But is it right for you? Let's crack on and see. Tally ho, tally ho, ladies and gentlemen. The HP MV 13 inch is Hewitt Packard's latest flagship offering in the Ultrabook laptop segment. First thing you will notice is how light the MV is. Even though it weighs around the same as the Dell XPS 13, with the MV weighing in at 1.36 kilos, because it has a slightly larger footprint than the XPS 13 and it's thinner, it somehow feels a lot lighter than the XPS 13. I really can't stress enough how light and thin the Envy actually feels. You can say thin as in, this is HP's thinnest laptop. It looks razor sharp. In fact, if you remember the Motorola Razor flip phone, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. It's ultra thin and ultra light. Here you can see it compared to the Surface Pro. It's not much thicker than the Surface Pro, but the Surface Pro is a tablet. And compared to the smallest 15 inch laptop, the Dell XPS 15, you can see how small and thin the Envy really is. Design is of the highest quality and craftsmanship. This laptop is a true piece of art. The Envy is made of aluminium that really gives you the feeling of using a premium and expensive laptop. The top is brushed aluminium, sporting a shiny chrome-like HP logo which seems to be on every high-end device these days. It also has a cutout strip on top that breaks the cover up, which is a nice little touch. On the underside, no corners were cut. It's all aluminium. It has one wide transverse rubber strip and two small longitudinal rubber strips. You can also see two small vents. Open it up and the top build quality continues. As you lift the lid off the MV, the actual base of the unit lifts off the surface it's on. This provides ventilation and an optimal keyboard typing angle. The keys are colour matched stylish backlit keys that make the laptop look classy. They are not only backlit, the light actually illuminates through the letters on the keys. More on the keyboard later. The aluminium palm rest is in keeping with the rest of the quality of the Envy. On either side, you have the gorgeous and elegant precision drilled Bang & Olsen tuned speaker holes. And right next to the trackpad you have a most welcome feature which is the fingerprint scanner. So this means you can use Windows Hello. And going forward I'd really like to see this on every laptop from now on. The Quad HD display is framed by what I would call a traditional black plastic bezel. No infinity edge bezel here, but it still looks nice. On the top bezel is where you'll find a True Vision HD webcam and mic. So overall, I'm very impressed with the design of the Envy. It screams quality, attention to detail is second to none. The best thing I can say is it's a work of art and it looks expensive. Moving on to ports. On the right hand side you have a LED power indicator light, two USB 3 ports, a HDMI port and the power jack port. On the left hand side you have the Kensington lock, a full size SD card slot, another USB 3 port and a headphone and microphone combination jack. I will however say there is no Thunderbolt 3 or USB Type-C port. For me that's not a deal breaker but only you will know if you need a Thunderbolt 3 or Type-C port. And if you haven't heard of a Thunderbolt 3 USB Type-C port, don't worry, you will probably never use one in the lifetime of this computer. The model I have you can pick up for about $1800 Australian. It has the new Intel Skylake 2.3 GHz 15 w i5-6200 with Intel HD Graphics 520. 8GB of RAM, a 256GB SSD which is upgradable, a 45 watt hour Li-Eon polymer battery and a glossy 13.3 QHD 3200x1800 display. You can also get a full HD version. The Quad HD IPS panel is excellent. It's a glossy screen but reflections are pretty well controlled. Viewing angles are good, no complaints there. It's bright, but it's not the brightest screen I've seen, but it's certainly up there. Contrast and colour reproduction out of the box is bang on. I don't feel like it's a screen I'll have to calibrate. 
its saturation is good and I will say for me the screen quality is definitely sufficient for image editing. It's not a touch screen like the QHD screen on the Dell XPS 13 I reviewed but in terms of quality I find it hard to pick between the Envy and the XPS 13 screen. They are really close. I guess it depends whether you need touch or not but suffice to say I'm really happy with this panel. Sound from the Bag & Olsen tuned speakers is, for me, is one of the highlights of the Envy. Having front facing speakers makes all the difference. It's much better than having speakers underneath or on the side. They are not the loudest speakers, but the richness and clarity are exceptional. I'm a big fan of these speakers, so let's have a listen. Another highlight of the HP Envy is this awesome fingerprint scanner. I really love it. It's simple to set up, it works well and I want it with every single laptop I have now. As I said the keyboard is colour matched with the aluminium body. This gives the Envy a unique, elegant, sophisticated look. The backlight also illuminates through the transparent key letters. There is a little flex in the keyboard but rather than being a hindrance, it's actually the reverse, it acts like a cushion for your keystrokes. Maybe this is why I enjoy typing on it so much. Or maybe it's the optimum angle that is created when you open the Envy's lid. If you really hate keyboards that are shallow and with not much travel, you might not like this one, so keep that in mind. For such a thin and light laptop, I doubt they could have got much more travel into the keyboard. So no complaints with the keyboard and it's quite pleasing to use. I like the trackpad, it works well with the gestures, it's very responsive. The action and muted sound from the click is very pleasing. It's shallow in terms of depth of height, so this may annoy some people, but with the Envy being so thin, I think they've done a good job on the trackpad. Battery life is what you would expect from a Skylake laptop. It's a 45 watt hour Lee Eon polymer battery, I get around 6 to 8 hours of battery life with screen brightness at 50% with general use. I got around 3 to 4 hours playing Football Manager, so battery life is good, but it's not outstanding. I actually wonder with a BIOS update and some software optimization that this battery life can actually be improved. You should be able to get a couple of more hours out of this and hopefully HP will release an update. Performance of the HP Envy is great. It has the exact same Skylake CPU and HD graphics as you get in the Dell XPS 13. You won't be playing AAA game titles, but it can definitely be used for Photoshop. I edited this video you're watching right now on the Envy. There was a bit of lag during playback when I was editing the video, but I think some of that was down to the SSD not being the fastest in the world. The stock SSD will get you about 540 megabytes per second read and around 220 megabytes per second write, which is not slow, but this is something you can upgrade to get faster performance. You can play casual games like Minecraft and importantly for me Football Manager with no problems. Heat is not an issue. It does get warm under load, but it's nothing to worry about. Noise is superb, under load, the fan is very quiet. HP have done a great job on the thermals with something so thin and you'll hardly hear the fans at all. So you won't be able to edit huge 4K video files with loads of effects or play AAA titles. But this is not what this laptop was for. That being said, I have no problems using the Envy for Photoshop, basic video editing and casual gaming. If you compare it to say Apple's MacBook, it's miles ahead of that in terms of processing power. So performance is good. My conclusion is the HP Envy is a great inclusion to the flagship Ultrabook category. Its state of the art design, its ultra thinness are certainly remarkable. It looks very expensive, feels very expensive and it's a pleasure to use. It has plenty of power to, for someone that wants an ultra portable device that can do productivity, Photoshop, casual gaming and if needed is capable of editing HD video. You have the bonus of features like the fingerprint scanner which is a nice touch and great security. 
to nitpick, it would have been great to have Thunderbolt 3 and USB Type-C and a faster SSD, but I can get 90% of my work done on the Envy and it will make a great portable productivity machine as long as you know its limitations. Overall, this is one hell of a laptop and you won't have any regrets buying the Envy. It will serve you for many years to come. I guess people want it compared to the Dell XPS 13 and I will be doing a video on that. There are some questions that you need to answer for yourself to find out which one of these is best for you. So subscribe so you don't miss that video. Give me a thumbs up if you think this review was useful. And until next time, tally ho. Tally ho, tally ho, ladies and gentlemen.